Yo, what is going on guys? This is Zilla Edits, and I thought I'd do a quick tutorial today. Uh, first of all, thank you for the likes that we got in our last video. And if you continue to like, we will continue to do tutorials on request. So today is Twixter and my settings. Uh, it's pretty good settings, so here's an example of what we're doing. So it's just like the zooming in slow, like there, and there, and there like where all the Twixter is moving in really slow and smoothly. So let's get into this. First of all, you want to import a clip, obviously. And then you want to make sure you remember this number right here, 59.94. That is very important a little later on. So drag your clip into the new composition box, and this will pop up. The rules for Twixter I would recommend is never use Twixter where there is a lot of movement. Only do it when they're aiming in. Or you know what I mean? Like just yeah. So find a point in the clip where you want the twixter to start. I don't know if this is a good spot. Nah, I'll do it right here. So then make sure this clip is highlighted and then you want to go to Effect R E Vision Plugins Twixter Pro. And now Twixter is added. But as you can see, it's all warpy and stuff like that. So remember that frame rate that you memorized hopefully over here now you want to enter that in to the input frame rate so 59.94 now you cannot do Twixter with dazzle clips or anything like that it just doesn't work and it looks awful 59.94 and up is the way to go so now time to change some more settings change image prep right here to contrast slash edge enhance and then change inverse to inverse with smart blend bring down this by clicking the arrow change this to 60 bring down FG1 settings with the arrow change this red box to alpha and change this to 60 so now you got your twister all ready to go so now what you want to do when you add it is let's say you want it to start here so you click this little stopwatch and then that creates a keyframe as it's called move forward one frame and now time to add the slow motion so now you change this 100 to 2 or lower that is the recommended speed. So now, as you can see, it is all smooth and really slow. So let's say I want to end it right here. So make sure this is selected and hit U on your keyboard, and this will drop down. So then, let's say you want it to end here, like I said, you click this little diamond thing, and then this little keyframe is made. And you want it to end, so you move forward one frame, and you change this to 100. So now if you see, from this point, it's all normal speed. And then right here, in between those keyframes, is all smooth, and then it finishes out. So that's pretty much what Twixter is. You can keep adding more if you want it to end here. You can keyframe it, move forward one frame, back to two. So now it's normal, slow motion, slow motion, normal speed, slow motion. So that is pretty much the Twixter. Anyways, guys, please rate the video. If we get more than five likes on this, I will do a CC tutorial and possibly a syncing tutorial, as well as a render tutorial by one of our other members. So anyways, if you like this or if you have any questions or concerns, please PM us because we can help and we will respond as soon as possible. See ya.